Hi guys, welcome to Math Today. Today we're going to talk about fact families. Um, and math fact families are just the ways the numbers group together to equal the sum that we're trying to get at. And the sum is the answer. So let me show you this board. Um, we're going to pretend like I give you each three of the connecting cubes at school. And I say, I want you guys to put these together in any way that you could do a number plus a number equals three. Now let's write this. One number plus one number equals three. Is that hard to see? Um, so I might say connect these two and then leave that one by itself. And so you would have these two together. I wish I had cubes. Those two together would be two, two plus the one equals three, right? So I'm gonna show you with our fish. What two numbers can we put together to equal three? Well, with the cubes, we did two plus one. So let's say there's two plus one. So you have one, you have two plus one equals three. That's one fact family. Listen to this. You could say one plus two equals three. That is another fact family. You could also say that um, three minus two equals one. You could say three minus one equals two. So the fact families are just these sentences that equal the sum number you're looking for. Um, let me show you another way of looking at this. And I gotta get my big board out. So I'm gonna turn you a little bit and we're gonna show you with the triangle. Oops, gotta turn you all the way back around here. All right, so I have the triangle, the fact fact families using the triangles. And so if I have a four here, what two numbers can we come up with to equal four? A three and a one. So now you can see that I have two, question, two um, number sentences ready to go here. And then I have two number sentences ready to go here. These are addition, these are subtraction. So I'm gonna say four. We're gonna say three plus one equals four, right? And then down here, we're gonna say one plus three equals four. So we use our fact families to do addition problems. Now look over here. We are gonna do subtraction problems with our fact families. We always use our biggest number first, so our four is gonna go here. But we can say four minus three, four minus three equals one. You see how that works out? Where's my one? There we go. And then let's try the other one. We could say four, because we start with our biggest number when we subtract, minus one, four minus one equals three. So those are our fact families. Uh, today for math, you guys have, um, first grade has a um, worksheet that you're doing that has these fact families. And this seems kind of silly because you're doing the same numbers over and over, but what you're doing is you're telling your brain different ways to come up with answers. So that when the problems get really tough, you find different ways of answering them, not just one way. Um, so first grade, you're going to do this worksheet. Again, the first one they did shows you how they did it. The next one, you're taking this number, the two, and then the one and the one, and you're writing your own addition problems using that fact family. 
So 1 plus 1 equals 2. Or 2, because this one's a subtraction, you're going to put your biggest number first. 2 minus 1 equals 2 minus 1 equals the 1. So you'll do the number 3 down here, and they give you two different ways of doing it. On the back, they're having you do fact families again, um, and they're giving you the triangle. And this is the one we did together with the 4, the 3, and the 1. So you just write it, right? 3 plus 1 equals 4, or 1 plus 3 equals 4, because we're using the, the little numbers to make the bigger number, or the sum. And then they show us how to do it in, in subtraction form, too. At the bottom, first grade, you just have some really simple um, add and subtract um, horizontal questions to go ahead and work that. Um, so those are there for you. Kindergarten, you have a chapter checkup on numbers. Um, at the top, you're going to circle how many items you see, how many sunshines, how many... Um, children do you see playing? On this part, you are going to write the number of clouds you see, write the number of butterflies you see, write the number of nothings you see. On the bottom, there's a number three. It wants you to draw three caterpillars. On the back, you are supposed to use this graph to graph those paint dots, okay? Um, down here is you write the numbers of the two items. You circle the one that is more, write the number of the two items and circle the one that is less. And then down here, you fill in the missing number. Parents, this is a chapter review, and so I do need a picture of this so that I can keep it for my documentation for their grades. Um, you can read them the directions, but then don't give them any help. Um, do remind them that they need to write the letters the correct way, because if you write a two backwards, it almost looks like a five. Um, so they could get something marked off if it's not the correct way. Um, so go ahead and take pictures of that, parents, and just uh, text them to me or send them via email, whatever is easiest for you guys. Um, and then we will um, see you later. Bye.